where you can actually sleep overnight in a real rebel caboose. And just beyond that, you'll find the National Toy Train Collectors Museum, housing a fabulous collection of antique toy trains. Fairview Cross is next. Fairview. the second oldest public utility in all of Pennsylvania. It's also the oldest railroad in continuous operation on the entire continent of North America. This railroad is owned by a group of local stockholders and dedicated railroad buffs. It was back in 1958 when 24 dedicated railroad buffs purchased this line to save it from bankruptcy and abandonment. This group organized in a rather unusual corporate fashion. It had one president and 23 vice presidents. I could only imagine those were roommates. They all donated their time, their money, and much hard work, strictly as a labor of love, for the fun of railroading and for the good of the cause. Every nickel profit was plowed right back into the railroad. In fact, the Strasbourg continues this tradition of historic preservation. On average, the railroad will spend between $250,000 to almost a million dollars restoring each of these antique locomotives and cars. And none of it is done using any state or federal subsidies. Or stimulus packages. 